Mr. Investor Lot, welcome back to the channel, baby. Please always remember none of this is financial advice, it's for entertainment only. It's going to be a very Merry Christmas indeed. Take a look at this information I got for you. Apparently, BioNanogenomics customers are using more consumables for the Sapphire. So, this has been tweeted by Navesh Jain on Twitter, and this is coming from the Vice Building. The Vice Building is located in the city of New York. It's at the Rockefeller University. At Rockefeller University, they have the Vertebrate Genome Laboratory. They've been using BioNanogenomic Sapphire for quite a while now. And they said that their favorite ornament from the VGL Christmas tree is definitely the BioNanogenomic Sapphire chips. So it looks like they're ordering more of these Sapphire chips. We're getting more money from consumables, reoccurring revenue from a customer. You can see they're scattered about, they're located on the tree. But what I'm excited about is they're utilizing their Sapphire machine. And it seems like they must find it useful if they continue to order consumables. A few months ago, I tried to hit them up in the emails and it seems as though they weren't happy to hear from me. But no hard feelings, I would still love for them to come on the channel just to explain a bit about the project that they're doing and how useful they're finding BioNanogenomics Sapphire system. Also, while scrolling on LinkedIn, I found that the Muscular Dystrophy Association released this post. So they said, breaking news, the act for ALS just passed the US Senate. This bill would accelerate therapeutic development for all neuromuscular diseases, including ALS. Thank you to all the advocates who made this happen. Next up, the president's desk. So they need Joe Biden to sign this. And you can see here, they said, we call upon President Biden to sign this legislation into law as soon as possible. So now what would this mean? The act for ALS would meaningfully increase opportunities for individuals with ALS to access investigational therapies outside of the clinical trials in which they are unable to participate. The legislation is gonna allow the opportunity for the stakeholder community to collaborate with the Department of Health and Human Services, the National Institutes of Health and the FDA. And they wanna commission a plan from the FDA FDA on regulatory innovations. All they want to do is speed up the creation of new rare neurodegenerative disease treatments. So I think a lot of funding is going to be coming in here if this gets approved. The bill will also create a new grants program to fund millions of dollars of research into needed therapeutic development in rare neurodegenerative diseases. So what does this mean for bionanogenomics? Well, this is speculative, but back in September 2020, bionanodata provides an understanding of repeat expansion disorders causing muscular dystrophy and ALS. So there was two teams, there was one from the Mayo Clinic and one from the University of Florida, and they both separately released results generated with the Sapphire relating to ALS amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and myotonic dystrophy. These are two severe genetic disorders caused by the expansion of repetitive sequences in the genome. And Sapphire was able to identify these repeat expansions in patients with ALS and DM. And check out this word in here, that was so large that only Sapphire is capable of sizing them correctly. So what does this all mean? Apparently the findings will help increase understanding of the disease causing mechanisms that may lead to better diagnostic tests, it can support direct drug development, and it will help better identify patients who are likely to respond to treatment. Eric Homlin followed up saying, you know, the studies by Dr. Wang and Dr. Ebert helped demonstrate the unique capabilities of Sapphire and the increasingly important role our technology plays in understanding the most complex regions of the genome. He also spoke about how the current methods fail to accurately size up the repeats, and back in 2019, they released BioNano N-Focus FSHD analysis, targeting another genetic disease caused by a complex repeat in the genome. So since then, because they have this automated tool, they got picked up by Perkin Elmer, who rapidly developed their own laboratory developed tests. And you can see here on Perkin Elmer's website for FSHD, if you scroll down, they have type 1 assay utilizing whole genome optical mapping technology. Now, a few years ago in December 2019, there was also this release by Globe Newswire. It was talking about Mayo Clinic using and adopting the BioNano Sapphire for applications in neurodegenerative diseases. And the team over there adopted the Sapphire because they determined that BioNano's technology can provide a deeper understanding of the genetic causes of neurodegenerative diseases and the routes to developing novel diagnostic assays and drugs to enable therapeutic interventions. So now with this act passing the Senate, now it's up to Joe Biden to sign this, and the bill is going to bring so much funding to accelerate therapeutic development for all neuromuscular diseases. When we talk about groundbreaking technology, remember BioNano's workshop at ASHG, American Society of Human Genetics, 
This was back in 2019, I believe. The annual meeting, Dr. Ebert demonstrated that Sapphire was able to capture and measure the full length of the C9ORF72 repeat expansion that causes ALS. And this is something that no modern technology has been capable of doing to date. So what did Dr. Mark Ebert say about the Sapphire system? He basically said it provides unparalleled molecule lengths with deep coverage at an affordable price for clinical labs and large cohorts. It has the throughput we need, comes with mature and automated bioinformatics and intuitive visualization tools. He is excited to use the Sapphire on a much larger population to help solve some of the scientific questions in neurodegenerative disease with the hope of developing a meaningful therapeutic and pre-symptomatic disease diagnostic. And with millions of dollars potentially being poured if this act is passed by Joe Biden, Eric Comlin stated that Dr. Ebert's work with Sapphire is an important milestone for BioNano. He's also demonstrated that Sapphire can be a powerful new tool for neurodegenerative disease research. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think Joe Biden is going to approve it and get this new grants program to fund millions of dollars of research into needed therapeutic development in rare neurodegenerative diseases? So far, the Muscular Dystrophy Association has poured more than $1 billion into research to accelerate the discovery of therapies and cures. With BioNano being used in like FSHD and previously ALS with Dr. Ebert, could we potentially see a cut of that grant money? Or could it help our customers obtain that grant money in order to be able to purchase a sapphire? fire and continue running research and tests and developing these therapeutics. I hope you found this video valuable and entertaining. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about some of our providers. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about some of our customers or service providers and what they've been up to in the genomic space. And if you found this video useful and want to support the channel, join in channel memberships, Patreon, or even dropping me a small donation really helps. Thank you so much for your love and support. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I'm going to catch you in the next video. Mr. Investalot, over and out, baby. Shh.